Hello everyone, I've been with the BTC Sessions. The footage you were just watching was taken the other day at the Calgary Lilac Festival. Myself and the guys at Pit National busted out the Moon Man suit and taught some people about Bitcoin. Today on the show, I'm gonna be taking a look at using the Bitcoin Lightning Network in its current state. So those of you unfamiliar, the Lightning Network is built on top of Bitcoin to enable cheap and instant transactions. Now it is, again, very early days. So a lot of this stuff is still being built. Um, there's not a ton of applications out there yet, but they seem to be coming in droves now. Uh, a lot of activity. Um, I'll show some sides by sides of the growth of the network since January. Um, and I'm just gonna take a look at how to use a wallet that is available for, I believe just Android at the, at the moment. I'm gonna include a link down below to check out the app. And I'm just gonna walk you through how it functions in its current state. Let's take a look. So the applications that I'm gonna be using today are the Bitcoin Lightning Wallet for Android from the Google Play Store. And to send funds to that wallet, I'm also gonna be using the Samurai Wallet, which I have done a video on in the past. Uh, great Bitcoin wallet, I'll leave links for that down below as well. Um, a couple other things I wanna to touch on before we get into everything. Um, uh, somebody recommended this website for me for those of you that are looking to play around with lightning um, These are just stores online that will accept lightning payments so you can go and uh, kind of peruse here see what people are offering um, again, it's very early days. So uh, Merchants starting to uh, jump on board. I do want to give a shout out here to one of my friends Mike and he runs Where is it CoinCards.ca. Uh, he's one of those early Bitcoiners that helped me through uh, as I was getting started and I was learning and I was actually living on Bitcoin and coincards.ca gave me uh, a, a lot of help through that. So um, Mike, thanks and here's a shout out to you. And beyond that, I did wanna just one more time reiter reiterate, this is very early days for Lightning. So um, not that it's not growing fast, it's pretty incredible. I just wanted to show you a side by side here um, that the company I'm working at, Bit National, tweeted out earlier. Um, this is Lightning just back in January. Um, and then we flash forward and this is Lightning Network now. And that is insanity, how much it has grown. Um, if you can see the fine print up in the top here, there are, uh, looks like over 2,000 no nodes and about 6,600 channels. So 6,600 channels, roughly. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's been growing quite a bit. Uh, what I did want to say here is that um, in trying this out and playing around, it was very reminiscent of... Um, I guess getting into Bitcoin back when I started uh, around 2014, beginning of 2014. Um, you know, so it's not clean and polished, but it gives you an idea of what this technology can and will be able to do. I feel like a lot of the stuff that is, you're gonna see in this Lightning Wallet um, in a couple of years time when some fancy and polished apps are, are coming out and when uh, UIs are cleaned up, you won't see a lot of this stuff and it will be a lot less technical on its surface and people will be able to just transact normally and not have to th know or think about the technicals behind it. So anyways, with that in mind, let's get into uh, what we're actually doing here and that is using these apps. So let's just take a look at the actual app that I have open here. Okay, so uh, the Bitcoin Lightning Wallet, I'm just gonna open it up and right away you're presented with two options. You have new wallet or restore wallet. Well, I didn't have one before. Well, I did, I played around with it, but I've deleted and re-downloaded this. So I'm gonna hit new wallet and it's gonna generate 
a wallet and it's gonna give me a mnemonic phrase. Uh, just like a regular Bitcoin wallet, your 12 to 24 word phrase. And if I hit view mnemonic, it gives me this set of words that I would write down and save somewhere safe uh, because that is my wallet backup. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll be back in a moment. All right, so now I've written that down, I'm gonna hit okay and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm already set to go. So let's just take a look at what is in front of us. Um, so if you go down to the bottom, there's a little Bitcoin B and that brings up all of my options. I have open a new channel, view channel details, receive funds and send funds. And up top, if I get out of that, you can see there's the Bitcoin B in the top left and it says no funds and there's the lightning symbol and it says no open channels while it is operational. So um, it'll sync up with any peers that I've linked to um, once I open a channel. But uh, right now, everything is it still needs to be set up. Let's just take a quick look in settings as well. Um, I can do a rescan of the blockchain if I feel that uh, it has not been updated and the balances aren't correct. I can again view my mnemonic phrase. Um, and then there's some wallet migration tools and, and stuff with servers. I'm not going to get super deep into this. Um, um, but I do want people to just know that these options are here. Um, and the channel recovery tool is if uh, something goes wrong with your, your payment channel, um, you can then try and recover those funds using this tool. Uh, but my main goal in this video is just to show a basic transaction and how to play around with Lightning. Okay, so this functions as a regular Bitcoin wallet and a Lightning wallet. So. When I hit receive funds, I have a choice to receive a lightning payment or a regular Bitcoin transaction. So I am going to receive a regular Bitcoin transaction because I need to fund my wallet um, so that we can play around. So I'm going to hit Bitcoin transaction. It gives me my Bitcoin address here. Uh, if you tap it, it'll copy to the clipboard. Same goes for a lightning, uh, a lightning address as well. Okay, so I'm going to now go back. I'm going to exit out of this wallet and I'm going to go over to Samurai so that I can send some funds out. I'll just skip ahead past my pin here. So I hit the blue plus button in the bottom right. I'm going to hit send and I can pick my minor fee. I'm going to go with four Satoshis per byte, which is higher than, uh, than needed to get everything through, uh, but that should get me through relatively quickly and I'm gonna paste in my address where it's going. Uh, I'm gonna send the maximum amount so I can play around a little bit. And I'm just gonna go ahead, hit send. And off it goes. So I'll just swing back into my wallet here. I can already see that there is Bitcoin coming in and as soon as it is confirmed, it will inform me up here. Right now, I see the little clock. If I tap on it, it can say it's awaiting confirmations here. So um, I'm just gonna wait for that to confirm and we should all be good. Uh, I'll just draw one more thing to uh, your attention is up top in the left, it is the Bitcoin amount is actually denominated in Satoshis, okay? So uh, anybody who's not familiar, a Satoshi is the smallest unit of Bitcoin that you can have, uh, at least on the main network. So it goes down to eight decimal places. So I sent over about 3.4 million Satoshis to this wallet, which is uh, somewhere around 270 US dollars. So we'll wait for that to confirm. We'll be back shortly. So I went off, did a few things, and I've come back. My transaction is now confirmed. So what has happened is I have now received a regular Bitcoin transaction into this wallet. I have Bitcoin sitting here, but I do not have anything allocated to be spent via Lightning Network. And what I need to do now is allocate however much Bitcoin I want to a channel which can then be spent and sent around the Lightning Network. So the way that I do that through this particular wallet is I'm gonna go down to the bottom B again, and I'm gonna hit this plus sign beside open a new channel. So I hit that, and so this one works a little bit differently from other wallets, but I'm just gonna show you specifically how this wallet will work. So um, it's gonna give me a list of channels that I can choose from uh, to connect to. 
And so the Lightning Network is essentially a web and you can send Bitcoin to anybody you're connected to directly or anybody that they're connected to and the next person is connected to and the next person up to 20 hops. Okay, so somebody that is 20 nodes away from you or 20 leaps from person to person away from you, you can send money to as long as you're connected through that one person. Okay, um, so that means that it's kind of like a six degrees of Kevin Bacon kind of thing. So, um, you know, this actor knows this actress was in this movie with this actor and so on and so forth. So same kind of idea here. This node is connected to that node is connected to another which is connected to another and you can leap between all of those for very minimal cost uh, to get yourself connected to the party you actually want to spend with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a, a channel with this recommended async node up top, okay? So it's the recommended one, it's the most connected, but if you do scroll down, it will show you how many channels are open with each, uh, with each, channel here that you can connect to or each node you can connect to. So this person has 278 channels open, um, you know, 200, 188, 89. So, you know, a lot of these are very well connected and given that there's, um, you know, 6,000 something uh, channels that are open in the Lightning Network. Uh, anything, I'm assuming since this one is up top and recommended, it's the most well connected, uh, odds are I'll be able to get any transaction through on this single connection. But I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tap this top one, and it's gonna ask you how much money do you want to put into this channel? So you actually have to decide how much money do I want freely spendable on the Lightning Network? It's kind of like um, if you had a cutoff savings account, uh, your regular Bitcoin versus um, cash in your pocket or, or a checking account where you can spend unlimited for cheap. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna allocate about $100 uh, into this particular channel, okay? Uh, so, what am I doing here? Oh, the dollar amount is up top. Sorry, my bad. Hundred dollars, one hundred, okay? Which works out to 1.3 roughly million Satoshis. Okay, so I'm gonna hit next. And now it's gonna ask me what the minor fee I wanna to apply to fund this channel. So I want this to happen quickly. I've got a choice. I can spend about two cents to open up this channel or I can spend five cents to open this channel to make it happen faster. Well, I want this to happen quick. I'm willing to spend five cents to open this channel. I'll just tap that and I'm gonna hit pay. All right, so what I have to now do here is I have to wait for three confirmations before this money is now instantly spendable at any time. Um, and we'll see the difference between waiting for confirmations versus how transactions work once uh, a Lightning Channel is actually funded. So we will come back when we've had a few confirmations here and we can start utilizing the Lightning Network. So I've now had a few confirmations and I have officially funded my Lightning Channel. Now uh, in the top left here, I can see that uh, my regular Bitcoin wallet has just over 2 million Satoshis while there was this Lightning channel that I've opened now has 1.3 million Satoshis. So I now have uh, this open to the Blockstream store actually. I'm gonna grab uh, a bunch of the stickers that they have um, and just get those delivered. So I've already put them together in a cart. I've got four different stickers here, um, including shipping and everything. It's about 1096 US. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna proceed to checkout. Okay, I'll fill out my info and we'll skip ahead.
here we are at the main screen where I'm going to pay with lightning. So um, I do have a, a copy and paste uh, set of digits that I could paste in if I had a desktop app. Um, but actually what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be scanning this QR code over here on the right. Super easy. Uh, I'm just going to pull out my app here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the B in the bottom right. I'm going to go ahead and hit send funds and scan QR code. Once I scan that QR code, it tells me how much I'm sending in Satoshis. So about 146,000 Satoshis, which is just shy of 11 bucks. I'm going to hit pay. And I've just been notified that the order has been received. Um, so it took about, I don't know, five to 10 seconds to go through. And I can see down here what I've paid. I've got my receipt and everything. Um, but more importantly in the app, I can go to the actual transaction and I can see uh, what I paid. Uh, I sent 146,000 Satoshis. I paid 381 uh, Satoshis total. This isn't per byte um, total uh, for transaction fee. So what is that in dollars? Let's find out. Uh, 381, so 0.12345. 381. So I paid just shy of three cents. So 2.9 US cents uh, for that transaction. Now, if we compare this to a regular Bitcoin transaction, for instance, the one that I sent into the channel, um, and keep in mind, as I'm doing this, uh, there it's a little bit busier on the blockchain than it has been the past few days. Uh, so the total number of Satoshi that I, I paid for um, my main net transaction was around 1,820, which is about 14 cents. If I was paying main net, uh, I'd be paying about four, between four and five times what I'm paying on Lightning Network. Now, previously, when I made uh, a transaction on Lightning in practice a few days ago, uh, when main network was way down there at one Satoshi per byte uh, by default, um, I was able to get a transaction through for one tenth of a penny. So it can still vary, um, but I find that it's a good way to save on fees. Now, just one final thing to check out is if you want to close a channel, which is not necessary if you plan on spending lightning payments again at any point in the future, but if you prefer to remove it from this wallet, move your, remove your funds from this particular wallet, then you would close the channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the bottom B, I'm going to go view channel details, and down at the bottom here, I'm gonna hit close channel, and it's asking, where do you want that Bitcoin refunded? And I'm just gonna say, to this wallet. I could paste in another wallet address if I wanted. So it's closing the channel, and I'm going to say, okay. And now it's going to close the channel for me, and I will have a Bitcoin transaction coming back into my wallet, being refunded, so I can now see I have no open channels, and I have 2.9 million Satoshis here, uh, and eventually this will confirm as a mainnet transaction, and I can move it wherever I like. All right, so I have gone ahead, I've done a few different transactions using this Lightning Wallet here, and what are my impressions? Well, number one, I find it at, in its current state, it's very reminiscent, as I was saying before, of when I first started using Bitcoin. Um, initially difficult to use. Now, does that mean it's always going to be that way? Obviously not. Um, the difference in using Bitcoin from when I started in 2014 to now, it's a completely different world. Um, I remember my first time trying to use Bitcoin and I downloaded the Bitcoin QT client and it took two 
two or three days to sync up to the network before I could even use it. Now you can download a lightweight wallet on your phone in seconds and be ready to transact. So um, what we're seeing now is not the final form of this technology. Uh, we're just seeing the beginnings, but we're also seeing what it can enable. Now, was everything successful? Absolutely not. Um, there's a couple instances where I tried using a store and it just wasn't well connected enough. So I wanted to buy that uh, reckless t-shirt that I had on my Twitter earlier. Um, and I tried, but there was no easy option to connect directly to them using this particular wallet. You can connect directly from other Lightning wallets. Um, also, some some websites just aren't well prepared. I had a problem with the forms on another checkout. Now that wasn't lightning related, it was just poor design of the website. Um, so I did have a couple issues. There was one transaction where uh, I was trying to send with Lightning. And again, the, the store online just wasn't well connected enough. It had not yet really um, gotten its node, its Lightning node, well connected with the rest of the network. And so it had difficulty finding a channel and I wasn't directly connected and didn't have that option through this wallet. Now, that won't always be a problem, but for those of you that are playing around, you may run into issues like this. Now, the transactions themselves, however, that's what I'm focus focusing on here. I'm looking at how quick were they and how cheap were they. So, in practice, I found that the transactions themselves, as soon as I was well connected, they were more or less instant couple seconds, everything's confirmed and done. You don't have to wait for anything. Um, as far as cheapness goes, they are also cheaper than mainnet transactions. I was saying earlier that uh, earlier this week, a few days ago when I was playing around, I got transactions going through for fractions of a penny. Today, with mainnet transactions be a little, being a little bit more expensive, my lightning transactions were more expensive than a fraction of a penny, but still, I paid, you know, just shy of three cents for one and around seven cents for the other, whereas on the mainnet, you know, I was paying sometimes five times, uh, five times that. So, um, yeah, it does help cut down on transaction fees. Now, currently, Who's going to use this? Well, right now, obviously, nobody new to Bitcoin is going to be using this. It's just, it's not ready. Um, it's getting there, but it's not ready. Uh, I, some could argue that cryptocurrency in general is not ready for mainstream adoption, and I would probably argue, yes, there, it's not it's not streamlined enough for everybody to be using it. Lightning is very much a thing where if you're a tinkerer, if you want to be jumping in and trying out the newest stuff in early days, great, play around with this. Now, as a person that's doing that, if you want to be doing a lot of Lightning transactions, I think myself, the way I would treat it is maybe once everything's a little bit more connected and I can be sure that my transactions will go through reliably and that merchants can easily be connected, um, I would treat it as Bitcoin in savings on mainnet. And then if I know that I want to have a few hundred bucks worth of easily spendable, instant, um, instantly available money, then put that in my Lightning wallet. Again, treating it like a uh, savings account versus a checkings account where I can just spend, spend, spend and not have to worry about fees. Whereas my savings, you know, when you have a, a savings account and you use that on your debit card, you know you're getting dinged with a fee for pulling from your savings. Same kind of deal. Um, the other thing I wanted to say here before I sign off is I think that what we'll end up seeing in the future is you won't really know whether or not you're doing lightning or mainnet transactions. Or this is maybe something I'd like to see ideally is where you just spend and the wallet finds the most efficient and cheap way possible to get that transaction through. It doesn't matter if it's lightning or mainnet, whatever it needs to do awesome as long as it gets there as long as you know it remains decentralized and censorship resistant and ideally as cheap as possible so 
I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. Um, I encourage you guys to play around. Don't play around with too much money, but try things out. Um, this is just one Lightning wallet that is out there. There are others. I'm going to be playing around with them as well. But for now, thank you guys for watching. And let me know what you think of the Bitcoin Lightning wallet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Drop a tip if you're able to and share this video. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I have noticed um, a number of people don't get notifications for my videos anymore. So please make sure you hit that notifications uh, button. It's right by the subscribe button, a little bell, and you'll be sure to see all of my videos pop up. I'll see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.